Hey there guys, how are you doing with your microdosing? Um, I'm gonna just come on and do a real quick one today. Um, I wanna share with you um, about microdosing, how it can help you with um, problems you may have such as anxiety, depression, PTSD, insomnia, uh, addiction, um, different types of maybe personality disorders, uh, not being mindful enough, not, not feeling good about you know what's going on in your life, all kinds of things like that. Um, I'm a firm believer. I've been microdosing magic mushrooms for close to one year now, um, but I want to stress a couple things that are super, super important. Um, it's, this is not the kind of thing that you can just take like a medicine, like, a, like an antidepressant and hope for the best and, and you take it every day. No, it's not like that at all. Um, it's a different type of, like I say, sacred medication. It's medicine that you have to take in a very mindful way. You have to be very thankful for this plant-based medicine. And not only that, um, it's not the kind of thing you take every day. I've done episodes on dosing and how often you should take it. I urge you to go back and, and re-listen or re-watch those, vi uh, those, uh, those episodes, those, whether you're doing the audio or the video. Um, please re-watch those, revisit those. Um, but it's very important to stay on track. Too many people that I've spoken to start it, they try microdosing, it doesn't give them immediate results, so they just stop because they think that it's the kind of thing that they're gonna get just like overnight results from. No, it's not like that. It's, um, what I found about microdosing within the first several months of microdosing magic mushrooms, it was equivalent and my therapist told me this also equivalent to about uh, 10 to 20 years of talk therapy. That's how quickly I figured things out and got better. But it didn't happen overnight. It, it definitely happened over, you know, over several months or so. But I still do it on a regular basis. Um, I've, I'm a firm believer in it. This medicine is perhaps the most important uh, curative, if that's the right word, probably not the right word, but the most important significant medicine that I've ever used in my life. I can say that without any question whatsoever. Um, but there's also something else that's very important. And, uh, it's extremely important that along with your microdosing of the magic mushrooms, um, it's extremely important. And by the way, I just want to Go back for a second. Um, if you're new to me, microdosing is taking a sub-perceptual dose of psilocybin mushrooms. You're not going to get psychedelic effects from it when you microdose. Um, if you want to do an occasional macrodose, that's totally fine. But um, this, what I speak about is, is mainly microdosing. And microdosing is anywhere from 50 milligrams on the low side to um, 300 milligrams, which is 0.3 grams of magic mushrooms, of dried dried magic mushrooms. Um, I take them in uh, 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 ground up form inside capsules and that's how you get, I think the best, most accurate dosing. But anyway, uh, what I wanted to get back to was, and maybe I'm all over the place, but this is really, really important stuff. You need to uh, create and keep a journal. You need to um, work on yourself. You need to um, think a lot and, and feel where you want your life to go, what, what you want to see happen in your life. You want to also write down bad thoughts and bad habits and bad things that you want to get rid of and really um, project and, and, and uh, get a good feeling of what your ideal life is like. What is it like? What do you want to do? Who do you want to be with? How do you want to feel every day? How do you want to sleep? Write all of this down. Write it down in a journal. I urge you to do that. If you don't do this, you're, you're not. it's probably not going to work for you. Write it down in a journal, read it every single day, edit as needed. Thoughts always change, goals change, the way you feel about life changes. So always keep it up to date, read it every day, keep it with you like a Bible. I'm telling you, if you do this, if you keep a journal, if you really know where you want to go, if you really um, understand how you want to make changes and what you, these changes uh, should be in your life, and you keep that journal and read it every day along with microdosing, Guess what? You're gonna be fine. It's gonna you're gonna it's gonna work out for you. I promise. We've got craziness in this world today. Every time I come on, it's like another crazy event has taken place in the world. We won't even get into that, but um, I'm just hoping and praying, and I feel really good that things are eventually going to work out really well. We thought 2020 was a bad year with um, COVID starting. We thought 2021 was bad because, of course, Delta and Omicron and craziness persisted and now 2022 
uh, international affairs and crazy. It's, yeah, it, hey, it's going to get better. It will eventually have to get better. I will promise you that. Um, it will. We're all in this together. We're all like brothers and sisters in this. It's, we're going we're gonna to be okay. But follow me along with um, some of the other stuff I'm talking about. And I think you're, it's going to really improve your life if you need improvement. If you do, I certainly do and did. So it's working for me really well. That's all I have to say today, guys. I love you. And I will talk to you really, really soon.